you're Rana and welcome to FM Tahiti. Hope you're all well. Uh, in this game, we've got the kind of not quite deciders for the league, but pretty close to it. Um, at least in terms of promotion, if not the title. So we're playing against Uapoa Catholic under 23s. Um, and for Hanger Vines, are playing against Papita Excelsis under 23. So if if we win and the Hanger Vines drop points, then the Hanger Vines game actually comes dead rubber, and I might move on to a different. Uh, match entirely, but if they win and we win, then the match against them will play this episode as it'll be the kind of decider, I think, what have I done? Uh, for the um, leagues. We're going to line up against them, against the under-23s. We have issues. Kuanati's got knee tendonitis, which has kind of ruined our plans, and Runier's injured. And this is kind of all we can do. Got some great players we can bring in. Ross, again, we're trying to avoid that extension um, to his contracts. We don't really want to pay him. What's he on? I want to pay him another hundred pounds a week for the next season. We want him to leave. I did ask him to waive it. You all saw. He refused. He's only got himself to blame. If he's not going to do the right thing for the club, I am. Right. His latest scores up as well. Line against Papite. Kambura. As I mentioned before, I've actually gone through the Tahiti National fixtures, made sure that I'm down to attend the um, the international games. So it's held in the USA, Mexico, and Canada. You know, just a small stretch of space. Definitely not, you know, an entire continent. It's gonna be expensive to go to that one. But yeah, my uh, my manager Rodrigo de la Vega has spent his wages, he's been saving it up for just such a year. And he's going to be going to watch the matches. I wonder if I'll get any news items about whether I'm scouting players and stuff like that. But I'm just going there to see what spot. Well, the latest scores are not showing up on there. The Hanger Vines are winning. So it looks like we are going to have to play them to find out who's best. Ross is already injured. There we go. So it stands uh, gaining on us. All we need is one goal. Almost. It's close. We lost in the last episode in the final against the Humpbacks. Um, and the Humpbacks have done the mini double in that they've won the Super Cup and they won the Mutiny Trophy. Um, the news item about that, about the new manager getting all applauded for winning those things. But they are the tin pot ones. See how he does against the in the Inter Island Cup, the OCL and the Premiership. Those are the ones that matter. Come on, Savage. Run at him. I also got a news item saying well not a news item, I got a question in one of the conference uh, news conferences of, Yeah, there we go. Chabert, 20th goal of the season. Not quite Yannin or Gerard, but he's getting there, Chabert. Kind of got that one out of nowhere as well. It didn't look like we were going anywhere. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, I got a question about, you know, how do I... What's my reaction to, you know, fan complaints that we're not playing enough direct football? Cause at some point, I think when I took the job on, I must have, I must have promised that we would play direct football, which I've not done because I've just used this tactic, which is a bit more possession-based. We do still play long ball, but just not exclusively long ball, which is kind of what my answer was. It's just because I said we were going to play direct didn't mean we were going to play it all the time. But I just don't remember making that promise. And if I had, I remembered maybe I would have just used my long ball tactic because that works quite well. It worked well enough to get us up. 
but I'm not too worried about um, any complaints about our style. Results of a style currently. Vangervine's drawing, they've dropped points. It's not a good position for them to be in. Chabert running on. Oh, it's a good save. I mean, yeah, fair point. How did did he miss that? But it was also a good save. Oh, the hang of vines scored another. Oh no, a power! It's swung the other way now. Don't want to see this again. Dupuis not doing that well. Bring on a mat. And these other players are pretty rubbish. Because they're grey. The best. Yeah, they're all they're all rubbish. Let's see how this goes with Permet on. Permet's attributes also look rubbish, but he has scored a few this season. Cross back post. If only we promised to make the most of set pieces, that would have pleased the fans. Come on, Excelsius. Well, it will be a bit more dramatic to actually play the Vahanga Vines as a kind of decider. And I also keep forgetting that just because we get the promotion spot doesn't actually mean we get promoted. We have to play a playoff, I think. It's... Getting from the gold into the championship is pretty tricky. I don't know what's going on in terms of the title race, but feeling it'll be going on till the last game of the season or tackle by them. Go on, Bon. Class. Class. So there we go. Started off with a 2-1 win this episode. That's not bad. See what it does to the table, just so we've got an idea of what's going on. Because quite often I don't. Well done. Good win. Good win. So here we are. We're on 40 points. Let's check. Blah, blah. No. So we're on 40 points. Five points clear of second place. Three games left. Um, depending on how the next set of results goes against, you know, when we play Vanga Vines, we, I think we could just technically squeak the title and stop Vanga Vines. Next one. But as it stands here, Vanga Vines have got three games to play. That's nine points. That would take them to 40 points. Um, so they need to beat us and win their last two remaining games, ideally by enough to... What's the sorting rules for this one? Results between teams and goal difference. Yep. So if they beat us and win their last two matches, they will get promoted in place of us, even though we'll both be on 40 points, and that would be gutting. Uh, but we'll see, so I'll come back in a second or two for the Van Vines game. And we're... Back against the Hanger Vines, playing at their gaff, so they've got the advantage here. Apparently their preferred formation is 4-4-2, but I just had one of the scout reports that said they lined up as a 4-3-3. Um, so we'll see how good the scouts are. Um, in terms of selections, we got problems. Um, I just can't bring myself to play Gross. He is not good enough. He's valued at £9. I could buy him with my pocket change. Um, so he's not going to play, but we do have this issue here. So what we'll try to do is... 
No, we have no real options. We'll play a grayed out player. Doesn't really matter who because they're all terrible. In there. Best we can have if it goes really badly. Let's pop Ruiz back and put a striker in or something over here. Oh, they've got sand pitch as well. So yeah, apparently they prefer 442, but actually they lined up in a 433. So it's target man pressing forward poacher. Box to box, ball winning, central midfielder. So it's an interesting tactic. I have a feeling they could really hurt us sort of in the centre. They've got those three strikers. Central defenders will have to be on the ball and one of them's not even a real contracted player. What was that? Didn't even need to do this, really. I think it was going anywhere near. Oh, saved. Assured. Is it because he knows about that contract reminder I got sent recently? So I got another contract reminder telling me all the people are running out. I went through it again and I offered a contract to one of our central defenders. Because um, he's a Gambier player who's rated as five star potential currently. And he's been okay, actually. Is it Mingiko, whatever his name is? Um, he's the one who's suspended for this game, uh, obviously. Um, come on, Savage. Oh, through the back of him. Send him off. Not even a foul. Not even a foul. Good Gendron. He's the uh, grey player. He blocked that one well. That's what I need. Maybe I need to actually sign him up. Maybe I'll sure to save that penalty because he knew I've looked at the contracts again. I've still not offered him one. Oh, go on, Ruiz. Yeah, still not made him an offer. I don't think I'm going to, to be honest. Um, maybe I will offer one to him or Roy. But if I, maybe if I can make them backups and they don't cost me any more than they're... Oh, go on, Barra. And his second goal. There's a rocket. And it's against the vines. There's no more valuable goal to be scoring at the moment. Barely even attributes wise until you get to possession. Yeah, maybe I'll get one keeper on just uh, if there's as a backup and they're happy to be a backup. Just I've got less recruiting to do. Because what I'm worried about, and I've done this with teams before, not so much in this area, but where you, you're banking on recruiting a fresh new team with lots of new faces, but then you should. Oh! <sighs> How? Okay. But why? I okay. Maybe I'm being really stupid. Maybe I just don't understand the offside rule. But their player passed it back, didn't they? And then the keeper fumbled it, so it came off the keeper. Then my striker Dupuy kicked it, got blocked, and it bounced. Back to the striker who was behind Dupuy. So why would why would he be counted offside when it's not come off one of our players and he wasn't offside by any other? I, I don't know. I think maybe this is just me not understanding the rules of the game. Keep it up. One nil will win. Seven nil win. Doesn't really matter. Does the job for us, unless I've really got my maths messed up. I'm pretty sure it does the job for us. The most they can get is 40 points if they beat us. Break could be interesting, but it's... Oh, it's 34 is build. Sanchez. Younger. Looks alright. Start seeing if there's any players I can 
steal from some of these clubs on the way up. Stop him. Strong block. It was indeed. Into the moon, that one. Plus, let's make some subs. Double strike sub, because that's basically our best option. There, we've got three real players on the bench. Two of them are strikers. Short's a bit of a hero for saving the penalty, but actually, even if they'd scored it and we drew, it'd still be going up instead of them. Pass a move until that tackle. Interesting. Almost. That would have killed it off for definite. Oh. That's unfortunate. Tamangara would have scored that. If we had Tamangara from the humpbacks, we wouldn't have even needed to jump for that one. Go on. Just wide. I'm feeling good. Less than five minutes. And even if they score one goal, we've still done it. Even if they had won it in the end, we still had two games to get a point to just keep them out of it anyway. So there we go. We will see what this has done to the table. Pretty sure that means we're getting promoted. I mean, getting into the playoffs for that. Any news items about that? No, because the rest of it hasn't. Got the best ever finish. Um, but yeah, because the season's not over, it's not done that whole kind of calculating thing. But basically, Van Gevines can finish with 37, 43. That's it. So we've secured the playoff position. Two games left. We're five points clear of the Eels. So if we win our next game, we should have the title. Um, if we don't, then it'll go down to the last game against the Eels. So we've got a, two shots, basically, getting the title here. What I'll probably do is I'll come back for the next match, record that one, see what happens, and then see if we need to go into the playoffs after that. Uh, so thanks very much for watching. We've had a good season so far. Let's see if we can finish this one off with style in the next episode. See you later.